What are these for? My dad's company is testing out this new cell phone they designed, so we each get one. I programmed our numbers into them already. I don't know, it's kinda... Free! <laughs> no way! Right on. Cool! One month of free calls. As much time on the phone as you want. Well, someone is paying for it, and I'm sure your dad expects us to be responsible. Hello, I'm Jude. You don't know me, but we can change that, and it won't cost me a thing. I was born as a small child. Hello? <laughs> Who knew they were so rude in Sweden? Sweden? Jude! Jonesy's been complaining about his hockey skates falling apart, so I'm saving up to buy him a new pair. Got any ideas? What's the occasion? No occasion, just a gift. Nikki, you can't do that. Boys buy us gifts for no reason, not the other way around. Uh, you lost me. Duh. It's Boy Girl 101. Men are the hunters, women get presents. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I could use my employee discount. That would save you some money on the skates. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Jen. And you could probably double your wages with commissions if you were a little nicer to customers. Uh, there are limits, okay? Even for Jonesy. Caitlin's an expert on sucking up. She can help. Absolutely. song about yesterday and didn't use snot walrus. Agreed. I think it's the best song you've ever written. You should be really proud of yourself, Wyatt. I kind of am. I mean, when I got home, the song just poured out of me. Was it from your nostrils? <laughs> snot walrus. <laughs> it was like being humiliated caused this surge of creativity. Maybe we should publicly disgrace you on purpose from now on. Hey, that's a great idea. Uh, that was me. Kidding? I'm not. The band is short a few songs for our new demo. You'd be helping our career. Come on, please. I've never needed an excuse to humiliate you. I'm in. Okay. All right. Fine, but only for the good of the band. Excellent. Come and get me. Jude, why are you calling me? I'm not. Must be a bum call. Bum call? You know, when your bum accidentally speed dials someone. Bum call. Ew! I don't want to talk to anyone's bum. Why? I got a nice bum. Focus, people. What are we going to do to humiliate Wyatt? Hi. Do you have a moment to make the world a better place? Sorry, but I'm late for work. That's OK. I'll just check the I don't care box. I didn't say I don't care. I said I was late for work. It'll only take a minute. 
And it's to help the world. Okay. If it's to help the world, I... Ah! Mm. Hello. What is your name? Uh, Jennifer Masterson. Hello, Jennifer. Let's begin. Question one. How old are you? I'm 16. You're a very smart girl, Jennifer. Oh, <laughs> I do get straight A's. But how is sitting here answering questions going to help the world? Question number two. For the very smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> You wanted help? Well, here's your chance. Go earn some commission for Jonesy Skates. Hi, welcome to the khaki barn. I'm Nikki, how can I help you? <gasps> Is Nikki actually trying to sell something? <laughs> I'm looking for a top exactly like this, but not this top, and I want it in pink with long sleeves and a cow neck. So exactly like this, but completely different? Uh. Okay, um, maybe, um, let me just have... Oh, forget it. Talk to one of them. Nikki, you almost had them. <laughs> that was commission impossible. Hey, Nikki, what's up? This feels wrong. It's just not me. What? Something feels wrong? What feels wrong? Hello, Nikki? Talk to me! Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Wyatt started his musical career at an early age, when he was younger. <laughs> oh, this can't be happening. <laughs> Sadly, most of the world will never hear the first song Wyatt wrote. But those of you here today will... What? No! It's called, I Love You, Mommy. Hit it! I'm brushing and flossing, look both ways when crossing. My room is clean, I'm never mean. My homework is done because I love my mom. I don't recall ordering dinner in a flow show. Move along, maggots. And you, sicko. I heard you tried to cover a child in boogers. I caught the baby, see? But then I sneezed and... Save it. Just know that I am watching you. Question 97. If you had to always wear a hat, or never wear a hat, which would it be? Okay. How is your knowing whether I wear a hat going to help the world? Invalid. No hat! Never wear a hat! Can I go now? Coach is gonna kill me. Question 98. Arr! Oh. Bad shopper. Bad. Nikki, customers want a sales girl that's sweet and really pretty. Oh, I know. Pretend you're me. No, never going to happen. You want to make extra commission for Jonesy or not? Fine. I'll practice being you on the next person who walks through. Remember, you're me. Good luck. Hi, I'm Nikki, and I totally know what you would look great in. I'm not sure these are really me. Don't think. Just trust. These are kind of small. Do you have a bigger size? Hello? Just take those pants off and I'll help you out. What? I'll try anything you throw my way, beautiful. Oh, <laughs> you big flirt. Nikki? What's going on? Can you hear me? What do you think of these babies? Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. <gasps> Nikki's cheating on me? That can't be. Can it? I'm almost finished my next song, Little Mama's Boy Blues. Seriously, we should end this now. You can't. I'm just two songs away from finishing the new demo CD. Ah, you okay, Jonesy? Everything is sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, well, I gotta get to work. Yeah, me too. Jonesy, have you got any ideas on what to do to Wyatt next? Sure! Why don't you just get Nikki to help him out of his pants? Welcome to the khaki barn. Have a khaki day. Hi, Nikki. Hey, what's up? Hello, Nikki. Hey 
Caitlin, flirting is really paying off. This plan is really coming together. I'm so happy for you, Nikki. Plan? What plan? What now? Jonesy, are you happy in your current relationship? Oh, sure. Nikki's hitting on every guy in the mall. Who wouldn't be happy about that? What are you talking about? Hang up your phone. Who was that? Oh, just some stupid computer questionnaire I started. Jonesy? Did you cut off my call? Are you happy in your current relationship? Oh, I keep telling you I'm not in a relationship. No, seriously! This is too good, dude! Ah, get off! Oh, come on! Please, no! I, I beg you! Dude! Are those Wyatt's clothes? Uh-huh. Oh, this is gonna be so good. <sighs> okay. You just have to make it to work. You've got clothes there. You can do this. Go! I've almost made I'll just get in the cart. Your parents are on their way to pick you up. Maybe you should call one of your scumbag friends and get them to bring you some clothes. At least the cell phone fit in there. I'll just call my scumbag friends now. What's up? Hey, Nikki. I think this would win anyone's heart, don't you? No man could resist such a cute dress. Nikki is cheating on me. And in a sundress. <clears throat> don't do this! Nikki, please! Don't worry, Wyatt. You're bound to get a great song out of it. I'm sure your parents will find you to be the belle of the ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Operation Humiliate Wyatt, take 36. Ready. In order to help Wyatt write another good song, I'm going to lure him to the fountain at exactly 1.15, the height of the lunch crowd. Then you push Wyatt into the fountain. People will laugh, Wyatt will be humiliated, Band gets great song. Hear you loud and clear, brah. Which one am I again? This. This is you, this blue stick figure, same as the first 35 times. I see. Now, where's my hat? Can I wear my hat when we do this? Okay. Catch you later, brah. Walk a mile in the dress. To know how she feels, to really know pain, you got to wear heels. A woman is a woman and a man is Nikki a... Nikki is cheating on me. What? You're crazy. Not Nikki. That's what I thought, but she keeps bum calling me and I've heard these things. I'm sure it's just a simple misunder... Wait, before you go? Oh, right. Thanks. Shouldn't you be working? Could I ask you the same thing. Good point. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Jen, I almost have the money for Jonesy skates. You can pick them up later. Now, name three cheeses. Why? Because I'm stuck in a questionnaire booth and I can't leave until I answer all the questions. Aren't you supposed to be at work? Nick, three cheeses. Cheddar, brie, and mozzarella. Thanks. I can pick up the skates later today. That sure is a great gift. Hello? When are you going to give it to Jonesy? Mm, this weekend, I guess. And he has no idea? Nah, it's a total surprise. Out with the old and in with the new. <gasps> I wish I could see the look on his face. Oh, he might even cry. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe Nikki's really gonna dump me. Again. And Caitlin wants to see me cry. I'm not oh. gonna let this happen. You hear? I'm gonna uh, find this sweet, oh, sweet, oh. sweet guy oh. and tell him that he can't have Nikki. She's mine. Oh, dear. Oh. Plus, she can't dump you. You know why, Jonesy? Do you know why? Hey, Jonesy. Because you're the hottest person in this mall. Oh, <laughs> thanks for noticing. People look up to you. People want to be you. Gosh, that's so nice. Just look at your body. Um. Sexy. No, super sexy. Okay, seriously. No one is more desirable than <gasps> you. What about Nikki? Whatever, you're the hottest. Listen, Jonesy, I'm really not comfortable with this, and I'm hanging up now. Goodbye. Jonesy? Jonesy, are you there? Me? Yes, you dummy. Oh, so now you're calling me. What are you doing tonight? Don't know. Why? I mean, why? Can we meet up? We really need to talk. Oh, here it goes. I mean, not tonight. I got a thingy. Actually, this whole weekend looks bad. Bad. Are you okay? Stand here. Bye. Question 680. How many boys have you kissed? Why would you need to know that? Invalid. Forget helping the world. Someone has to help me. Caitlin, I need your help. Jonesy hit on me. What? Who hit on you? Jonesy! Oh, this is bad. I'm on my way. We're not finished yet. You... Uh, you don't understand. I have to go! Question 681. Look, my friend needs me, and if you think any of this can help the world, you're mistaken. I do not make mistakes. Yes, you do. What was the first question you asked me? How old are you? Wrong. You asked me my name. How old are you was question two, but you called it question one. I don't, I don't, mistake, mistake, I Question don't one was really question two, mistake, and question two was really question three. Mistake, All of them were mistakes. Mistake, ha, take that! Mistake, 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 mistake. Uh. Daisy, Daisy. Thanks to your little stunt, I've added a new rule to my book. Okay. Rule 45, paragraph 9, subheading, underpants. Anyone caught exposing themselves in the mall is automatically banned for life. Banned for life. You've been warned. Ugh, that Jonesy makes me sick. I know. I mean, am I charming? Yes. Pretty? Of course. But none of that makes it right. You have to say something to Nikki before she gives him these skates. I know. Hello? Okay, Wyatt. Bye. What did Wyatt want? We aren't allowed to strip him anymore. You miss so much when you try to make the world a better place. Then Ron said that I'll get kicked out of the mall for life if I show up in my underwear again. Jude is the only one that doesn't know. So if you see him, tell him. Sure, whatever. You still haven't talked to Nikki, have you? It's worse than I thought, dude. I heard her and Caitlin talking about it. Nikki's gonna dump me this weekend. Whoa. Oh, no. My only hope is finding this new guy and getting him to back off. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Wait, I know that voice. What gives you the right to steal my girlfriend? You stay away from my Nikki. <gasps> Who's Nikki? Ow! Jonesy, have you gone mad? This guy? Why him? I never would have cheated on you, Nikki. What? Never would have cheated? Really, Jonesy? Then why did you hit on Caitlyn? What? what? Ow! Ow! Wait! There's been a mistake! Why would you even say that? Don't play innocent with me. You make me sick, Jonesy. What? Ah! <laughs> Naked guy! You are out of the mall! For life! <gasps> Oops. <laughs> wow.
When Caitlin told me what you said, I should have guessed you were complimenting yourself. And I should have trusted you more, Nikki. I'm sorry I freaked out. It was fun to see you all jealous like that. I should bum call you more often. No, no, no. Everyone hand in your phones. These are going back with a very bad review. Hey, you know that questionnaire booth you got trapped in? It was run by a teen marketing firm. So they were just using me to find out about the latest teen trends? Ooh, I feel so used. It's got an out of order sign on it. What'd you do to it? <laughs> Turns out it was really good at asking questions, just not so great at answering them. Dude, I'm just glad I didn't get you kicked out of the mall. Well, you did get me kicked out. You showed the mall his butt, but I saved it. How'd you swing that? The Jones Meister's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Back when I worked for Ron, I found a videotape of him. Really? What was on it? We promised we would never talk about it. Part of the deal. Aww. Aww. But I never promised not to sing about it. The man's washroom was full. And Ron couldn't wait his turn. Got caught peeing in the ladies. And baby, he got burned. <laughs> nice. Ew. What? I think it's sweet that they're so into each other. Okay. You've either suffered a slip and fall or... <gasps> you like someone! Spill it. Who is it? A greeter god from Albatross and Finch. He's so cute. I met him at Grimy yesterday and we're going out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on around here? <sighs> I guess love is in the air. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Actually, that was my chili dog. Ew, Jude. What is wrong with you? What's the big deal? It's a book. Jonesy took my world history textbook into the loathsome washroom. Ew. Ew. What? I was in there for a really long time. I needed something to read. Two for one chili dogs at Burger McFlipsters. You know it, bro. Those things are awesome going down. Not so great coming out. Yes. Just what I wanted to hear. It's still your book, Nikki. It's not like you can't ever read it again. Did you dudes know that Napoleon was actually of average height for an 18th century Frenchman? Oh, great. So now you're picking up on world history? Maybe I should study on the toilet more often. Oh, you spend enough time in there. I knew two for one chili dog week was a bad idea. You mean it's going all week? All right! Yes! Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sick! It wasn't me this time. It was me. Ugh, oh, I'm out of here. Oh my it's word. like rotten eggs times ten. <laughs> nice, bro. <laughs> Life begins after school That's when we bend all the rules Time to hang with all my friends We like to be together In a place where we belong I'm 16, starting to find my way Got a new job, gonna start at the mall today Thank God I'm on my own for the first time I'm 16, life is sweet When you're growing up so fast Time's last I'm 16, 16 Gotta make the good times last Fart power will make me go any faster. No, but it'll clear the escalator. Wicked! Okay, help me out here, lickety split maxi wax. Are you sure that stuff's a good idea? I heard it's used to lubricate the tracks for high speed Japanese bullet trains. Then it must be awesome. Cool. Here goes. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what's that? Whoa, whoa! Ah! 
Jude, are you okay? I am, but my hands aren't, brah. You okay, finger puppets? Oh my gosh, Jude, that's disgusting. My skateboard wax maxed my hands. They're itchy. I told you that maxi wax was bad news, bro. So itchy. Here, borrow these. But now I can't scratch. That's the idea. <sighs> Let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> Keep the gloves on, okay? Now, let's find something to get your mind up. Whoa, check it! A contest to win tickets to the premiere of War Star Galaxy Force! Whoever leaves the best message in the video booth wins tickets to the movie premiere. And free extra cheddar cheddar nachos from Wonder Taco. Hey, as long as it's not those chili dogs. <laughs> So I'll see you tomorrow at 6? Definitely. And don't forget to wear that shirt I picked out for you. <laughs> or not. <clears throat> Jen! <clears throat> Why were you just batting your eyelashes at Grady? Oh, do you know him? Uh, yeah. I'm going out with him tonight. <gasps> Grady is your greeter god? Well, we're supposed to go out tomorrow night. I don't think so, Lemonhead. Grady's mine. What? <gasps> I'm with Grady. Duh, you're with me. I mean, I'm dating Grady. So am I. <gasps> um, that's not a good thing. You girls need to get your own guy and a sense of style. You're wearing vertical stripes. Ew. So, how are we going to win the War Star tickets, bro? You're not. We are. See you later, suckers. Hey, you guys seen Nikki? Nope. Want to help us win tickets to see War Star Galaxy Force for free? Can't. Come on. You love sci-fi, bro. I do. But we don't. What are you talking about, dude? We think sci-fi rocks the galaxy. Jonesy meant him and Nikki. Oh. I've still got some making up to do for this morning. <sighs> With the book and the chili dogs. I'm taking Nikki out for lunch. You sure? Sure about what? About not winning tickets to see War Star Galaxy Force. <laughs> oh, he's positive. <laughs> What's with the hockey gloves? Ew, Jew! Oh, no! What the? Your hands, man! There's blood and... Relax, dude. Mm -hmm. It's ketchup. Ketchup? It feels good. Who knew ketchup could be so soothing? I had a little mishap with my board wax. I think I'm allergic. You think? That's sick, dude. Well, catch you guys later. You're missing out on complimentary nachos. Good luck eating them with those gloves on. <gasps> dude, how am I going to eat my free nachos with these on? You won't be getting any nachos, skater boy. We've got this contest lit. Taco Chick is starting to get on the wrong side of my nachos. He's mine. He is not Trisha. I met Grady first. I did. No, I did. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So, this is your idea of taking me out for lunch, huh? Darth and Julie seem to be enjoying themselves. More ground beef? Eat it up, lover boy. Darth and Julie also enjoy engaging in mock lightsaber battles. They love the original War Star trilogy. They're geeks. True, but they're happy geeks. And I like the War Star trilogy, too. What do you want? I'll get you anything in the food court. Not so hungry. Uh, why don't you just go and make that video with the guys? Oh. You're obviously still thinking about it. Really? Ugh, really. Just go before I change my mind. All right, guys. Let's win those tickets. Sorry, dude. We just made our winning video. Slamming! I showed them my hands. Jude added mustard to the ketchup. Just keep those hands away from me. Ew. Are they really that gross, brah? 
Um, yes? Does this mean Monica, the hot dog girl, isn't gonna want to go out with me tonight? You've got a date tonight? Oh, Jude, you might want to cancel that. The hot dog girl might dig the condiments, bro, but the boils are something else. Darn. Catch you guys later. Great. So now I have no one to make a video with. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on! You've got to! Please? One gymassive double shot mocha with extra caffeine. Make that nine. I can't believe what a jerk Grady turned out to be. He was so cute. So were those kitten heeled mules you wore to the Winter Wonderland dance, remember? But the heel fell off and you fell down the stairs. You're right. Grady's a heel. I think he needs to be taught a lesson. I just learned that if you add vinegar to baking soda, it explodes! Not a grade five science lesson, Kirsten. Trisha means revenge. Uh, I don't know. And why stop with Grady? We'll get all the jerks in the mall. Oh, we could give out glue sticks and tell them it's deodorant. Or we could bake cookies, replace the chocolate chips with laxatives, and hide all the toilet paper in the mall. Ooh, <laughs> that's dirty. Remember to give Jude and Jonesy their own rolls of TP. Chili dogs. Ew. So, now's the big moment. Shh. Wow. Okay. The lucky winners of tickets to tonight's premiere of War Star Galaxy Force are Darth and Julie. What? No way, dude. We won, Darth. We won. The power of the Force has prevailed. Thanks to the 37 video submissions they left. What? No way. That's cheating. You're fine! <laughs> 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 See? See? Lightsaber battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to all of our long-term dedicated supporters. Oh, what do we have here? A tie! <gasps> Congratulations also to Jonesy and Nikki for their winning video. <laughs> What? Yes! Is this thing on? No, I'm, I'm not making this dumb video with you, Josie. My girlfriend Nikki and I are dying to see War Star Galaxy Force. I do not want to see that movie with you. My name is Nikki, and I love War Star Galaxy Force. I'm also crazy about my boyfriend, Jonesy. Jonesy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! I can't believe this. I have to see War Star Galaxy Force with Julie and Darth. So, are you ready for our double date? It's not a double date. Maybe we can be new best friends. Where is Nikki? Hi, Nikki. Hi, Julie. What are you doing leaving me here with Julie and Darth? Well, you've got so much in common. What with your shared love of this movie franchise, I thought you'd have a ton to talk about. You missed all the movie stars. I'm sure they were devastated. Come on, let's get this over with. Ugh, at least we're not sitting with them. I can't believe we're in the very last row. <laughs> is a great big taco. Do not Darth, resist the pull of the Darth, take side. off the headgear. You're blocking the screen. No can do. I needed to make my bootleg video of the movie. A bootleg movie, huh? Oh, no. Do not even think about it. Only I can't see over the Wookiee in front of me. I'll tell you what. Nikki will switch places with you so that you can have an unobstructed view of the screen if you let the Jonesmeister in on the master DVD. It's a deal. You sold me out for a bootleg video. You didn't even want to see the movie. <sighs> there has been a great shift in the souls. Pledge your allegiance now or be destroyed. It's Councillor Bad Poutine. He works for the Rebellion. Engage evasive maneuvers. Quickly, everybody on the ship. R3 MP3, I need you to navigate. What have you got there? Popcorn? A green gummy. Oh, yeah? I me too. Not. I really like how the chewiness counters the crunch. Uh-huh. I don't know why the green gummies. 
I mean, you think red or even orange would be just as good. Destroy them all. I heard they shot some of this in Tunisia. Uh, wouldn't you love to go there? Uh huh. Be my light sword. Hey, have you seen that show Globe Tracker? <sighs> yeah. I'd love that show. Oh, wow. Who would have thought we'd have some common interests, huh? His light sword has two Did you ever see that episode of Morocco? <sighs> uh huh. Rush them. Now there's a romantic country. Did you know that they're the only African nation not uh, to join the African Union? I always run out of gummies before my popcorn's finished. Don't you find that? There's never enough gummies. <sighs> okay, we have the punishments. Now what are the crimes? Mm. Making you see a dumb sci-fi movie. Forgetting your birthday. Buying you a present that he secretly wants for himself. Standing you up. Calling you by his ex's name. Oh, rubbernecking. Dating your best friend. <gasps> Nothing could be worse than that. That was the best of a trilogy. Wouldn't you say, my princess? I wouldn't, know. It was good chatting with you, Julie. Yeah, sure. Here, you return it to me pronto so I can make copies. You got it. Huh, that wasn't nearly as horrifying as I thought. You know, when you get past the braces and the drool, Julie's not a bad conversationalist. Did you watch any of the movie? No, oh, I saw the end credits. <clears throat> Look at the ladies making me crazy. Check out those hungry eyes. Would you like to upsize or add a side of fries? Lettuce or pickle, just don't be fickle. I want you to enjoy triple A before soy, cause I am your burger boy. Are you comparing women to hamburgers? To ground up meat? No, it's just a song. A song I have to sing for my job. We'll just see about that. See about what? Put him on the list, girls. Put me on the list for what? Guess what? I've sold a dozen DVDs. Congratulations, your first successful job, and it's illegal. Listen to this. You have reached the orthodontic practice of Dr. DK. Is something the matter with your teeth? No, that's Julie's cell number. At least the one she gave me. You're hanging with Julie? No. Well, maybe. Except that she gave me the wrong number. Why don't you just go talk to her? What? Darth told me she was visiting her grandmother. Hey! What are we doing? We're spying on them. I don't think Julie wants to hang out with me. And that bothers you because... I don't know. It just does. That makes absolutely no sense. I sold all the DVDs. Here's your money. Hey! What's going on? Here I am hawking my own DVDs while my little brother has sold out to the dark side. Four Star Galaxy Force. You pirating punks, come with me. <gasps> Thanks a lot, Jonesy. You want to hang while the guys are in the slammer? Um, I have to get back to work. Can I beef anyone? Anyone? Please? Anyone? It's okay, Monica. We've all been stood up before. Speak for yourself, shortstop. Don't worry. We'll teach the jerk a lesson. Eee! Can we try the wasabi tongue torture? Just tell us his name. <laughs> his name is... Jude! <laughs> hey, Jen. Caitlin, we've got a situation. Where's Jude? He's right here. Put him on speakerphone. Jude. I need to know what happened with you and Monica, the hot dog girl. <gasps> Monica, I forgot to cancel our date. I couldn't dial my phone with these gloves on. Well, you'd better trade those hockey gloves for boxy mitts, because... <gasps> Traitor, you're aiding and abetting the enemy. You should never bet on boys, Jen. Gambling's an addiction. Jude isn't one of the bad guys. Ladies, he's at that big dumb lemon. Let's get him. <laughs> We are gonna get out of here, right? Hey, hey, and when we do, we'll celebrate. Not with Nikki. Having fun with Nikki, Julie was not.
What? That he talks too much, and not a word of it in Mandalorian. On planet Earth, we speak English uh, and a bunch of other languages, none of which are Mandalorian. <laughs> Even the nerd thinks you and your girlfriend are losers. <clears throat> Nikki! I'm here for Jonesy. Here's his whole stock of DVDs. <gasps> Lucky for you, you've got a lady friend on the outside. I have a lady friend, too. You're not going to torture me, are you? I know my rights. I have other ways of making you talk. <gasps> you wouldn't dare break the seal, thus reducing my vintage action figures to half their value. <laughs> All right, all right. The DVDs are in Wonder Taco. Can I go home now? I'll never double date again. You're surrounded, Lemonhead. Open up before we squeeze you out. You didn't mean to stand Monica up. Nice, Caitlin. So you've abandoned your sisters for a guy. That's funny coming from you, Trisha. Jude is more of a sister to me than you will ever be. I have something to say. Some people think that men are from Mars and women are from Venus. But that's impossible. Because those are totally different planets. And we're all here on Earth. So, we need to learn to live together, as well as reduce, reuse, and recycle. Thank you. P.S. Monica, I'm sorry I stood you up last night. Can I get some service, please? Of course. What can I get you? You can get him and I two lemon whips to go. Lemon head. I am not a lemon head. Oh, no? <laughs> now you are. <laughs> Lemons instead of lasers. Ooh, Ow. watch it! I have seen the enemy, and it is us. That ended well. I think I'd rather take my chances with the occasional jerk than deal with Trisha. How are your hands, Jude? Stellar. Good enough to eat two more chili dogs with Jonesy. Oh, uh, why? If you're all better, it's your turn with the mop. Hey. I never asked you guys how the movie was. See for yourself. You kept a copy. Just one. I know how much it means to you. You're the best, Nikki. And in return, I promise never to fart again. Starting right now. Oops, OK, now. After that one, start now. From here on in, no more farting. Gross. That was an accident. <laughs> What's it say? Everything tastes better with MSG. Right again! Unbelievable! How long are you gonna keep this up for? Long as it takes for the cookie to get it wrong. Utterly hopeless. Avoid blunt objects traveling at a high rate of speed. Oh, come on! <laughs> I think you dropped your shoe, Jen. More like threw it at you. Thanks for not helping me with the box. You are very welcome. What are stepbrothers for? Ugh. What's in there anyway? Stuff for the mall clothing drive. I'm organizing it this year. Anything cute? Sure. If you're a miniature circus performer. Hey, weren't those your favorite suspenders from kindergarten? <sighs> I called them dispensers. Hey, I remember that sweater. How do you people remember what Jen wore when she was seven? Ew, Jen. It's acrylic. You think that's bad? Check this out. <gasps> Hands off Hambert the hamster. <laughs> Hambert. <laughs> no way! Your dad was a biker? No, but your dad was. My dad was cool in his day? <laughs> I guess it is hereditary. Baked right into the old Jonesmeister DNA. You wish. Hey, stud man. <laughs> Yeah, baby. <laughs> Your girlfriend is laughing at you, not with you. Finally, a fortune that's wrong. My work here is done. Actually, that one was bang on. Huh. Maybe there's something to these after all. Life begins after school. 
That's when we bend all the rules. Time to hang with all my friends. We like to be together. Much more of this. It's our third shipment of merch this week. Ah! My head hurts. So does yours. Uh, how's it going over there? Good. I'm determined to make the clothing drive a success. Masterson, stop the gibble gabble on the phone, or I'll confiscate the box. The coach. Drop and give me twenty. <sighs> that goes for you too. Ah! Oh. Great. I just lost a donation. That's not all you're gonna lose if you don't get back to work! <sighs> Stupid coach. I've got a huge donation for you. It's all boxed and ready to go. Oh, no you don't. Our new super stretchy tanks aren't going anywhere. Save the super stretchy tanks! Hey, sweet cheeks. <sighs> Can I call you back? I've got a fashion crisis in the store. Later. Hey! This girl is selling my sweater! Um, that's not your sweater, sir. Someone else has donated it. It was me! I'm sick of looking at that moth-eaten rag. Now give it back to the girl. No! <laughs> You're really gonna keep wearing that, aren't you? It's part of who I am. You don't own a motorcycle. You ride the bus. We love your jean jacket. Is it from Albatross and Finch? It's vintage. You mean vintage wash? We do have eyes, you know. He means vintage, as in it used to belong to his dad. <laughs> you just touched somebody's gross old clothes! <laughs> Quick! The disinfectant! These aren't just somebody's, they're my dad's. This jacket has history. We hate history. On second thought, nice work. Hola, chiquitas. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. You got great style. Tell me something I don't know. I'm Laird, a cool hunter from a market research firm. If you're hunting for cool, you just hit pay dirt. You ride a motorcycle, so you must know what's happening on the street, huh? Lots of cars, the odd cyclist. So what's the word? What's hot? What's not? Not so fast. If I tell you what's cool, what's in it for me? Cold, hard, cash. You in? Now you're talking my language. And all I have to do is tell Laird what's cool and ka-ching! Major coin action! Oh yeah, I've heard of cool hunters. People travel the world trying to figure out the next hot trend. Even a monkey couldn't screw this up. Oh, is that supposed to mean that you won't? <laughs> I can't believe you're going to decide what's hot and what's not. <sighs> Will you tell me so I can have it first? Sure thing, princess. What do you even know about this Laird guy? Sounds slimy to me. So they're perfect for each other. I know that he gave me his card, a camera, and the promise of lots of moolah. What else is there to know? Can't blame Laird for wanting an inside track with the coolest guy in the mall. Jonesy, marketing companies take what people like you say and spoon feed it back to the rest of us. Then don't buy it. You're selling out your entire generation. You know, your friends. Not just friends, strangers and enemies too. They're basically spying on us, figuring out what we want before we even know that we want it. People are spying on us? There's probably a hundred fake marketers posing as teens right now. Time to hit the streets. In the mall. You're gonna look for new trends in the mall? <laughs> Everyone here looks exactly the same. Which means there's no way to spot the spies, dude. Are you sure you haven't hit your head? Positive. I've been wearing my helmet all day. See ya. That boy needs help. So do I. 
Can you help me sort through some of this stuff, Caitlin? Me? Sure. I'd be happy to help out those less fortunate. <gasps> no way. Someone donated an original Dee Dee Van Fostenberg? In my size? You are not the less fortunate, Caitlin. True, but I'd be so much more fortunate if I had that dress. I'll donate four things if you let me try it on. Pretty please? Put the dress down and back away. Slowly. <sighs> Jen sure is passionate about her charity. I think that dude's spying on me. Hello, hottie McGorgeouses. <laughs> Laird is gonna love ya. We're gonna be famous. Up here, Perv. Ah, hey, Nikki. <laughs> Aw, I feel so sorry for these poor people. No one has worn Hunter Green for years. You cannot send them this. Or this. Or this! Hey, my dispensers! Hello, hat. Hmm. This would make a good disguise. Stop people from spying. Jude, you look like a pirate. In drag. The bra will totally throw the spies off the trail, bra. If you say so. <laughs> Nikki was right! There's not one new look in the whole mall! Please don't tell Nikki I said she was right, okay? Oh, done taking pictures of hot girls already? Just taking a breather. Guess you'll be looking for a new job soon. Nuh-uh. Turns out you were wrong, 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 Nikki. I found a ton of hot new trends for Laird. Okay, smart guy, name one. And divulge trade secrets? I don't think so. Ha! <laughs> He's got nothing. I better get going. Later. You can tell me what's hot. Sorry, bro. Jude's the one who can't keep a secret. Dude! The time you told Serena that I had a teddy named Bucky? The time you outed Coach as a closet figure skater? The time... I fold. The reason I can't tell you what's hot is because I don't have a clue. Lay another one of those cookies on me. The answer you seek can be found right in front of you. What on earth are you wearing? A disguise. You like? Wait a minute. If people wore this stuff before, why can't they wear it again? Because it's really ugly? Watch and learn, princess. Laird, Jonesy. We're talking feathered fedoras. Yep, and little capes. You heard me. Ah, uh, sorry, Jude. That's a little far out even for me. If I were you, I'd find myself a feathered fedora factory and pronto. So how long did Laird say it would take? He said they'd move on it ASAP. Ready to admit defeat yet? Not even close, babe. This clothing drive's gonna be awesome! Wow, you've got donation drop boxes everywhere! Ooh, this is actually pretty cute. Hey, Jen, can I borrow a few things? I need to get some shots to Laird. Shots to Laird? Ooh, can I be in your pictures? Sure thing, princess. Ugh, yay! I tell him what's hot, they get to model, everyone's happy. Yeah, ecstatic. Do I have to wear these socks for the shoot? They've got individual toes. Toes are awesome. You couldn't stand without them. That garbage looks pretty urban. Let's take some shots over there. Ugh, you're destroying every last shred of individuality out there. Oh, really? And what is it you do at the khaki barn again? What? That's different. I work there because I have to. And I don't? Face it, Nikki. We play the same game. On opposing teams, I bet you won't last one more day as a cool hunter. Care to put a price on that wager? A week's worth of nachos, perhaps? Deal. You lose, you rub my feet for a week. So there'll be stinky cheddar all around. Oh, feathers on hats! What? How do I look? Adorable, Kirsten! <gasps> Cute capelets! It, it can't be. I just got the best idea ever! Let's make these part of the new khaki barn uniform! Super perfecto, Kirsten! We're the cutest khaki team that anyone has ever seen! I wonder what else is coming in for the new season! 
hopefully muzzles. Here's your hat, Nikki. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. That's what I'm talking about. Score one for Team Jonesy. Mmm, nachos. Hmm, I think I'll get the chicken supreme. Start by chewing on this. <coughs> ah. Hey, where's the salsa? I can't believe it. I know, it's like I'm God or something. Or Mark Jacobs. His spring line is so adorable. <laughs> wow, those sweatshops work fast. I can't believe what fashion sheep people are. Bah, bah. You guys ready? I need to send some more photos to Laird. Definitely. <laughs> that last shoot was wicked fun. I can't believe you guys are helping Jonesy exploit everyone. I can't believe I've gotten used to my toes. So, what's the next big trend? <laughs> Jude, some inspiration? I have coffee for inspiration. Or figs. Figs have lots of fiber, dude. Jude, gross. I mean the cookies. Actually, cookies don't really... Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Hank says... Relax. Good advice. Been a little on edge since I found out about the spies. Who's Hank? No clue, brah. Wyatt, you get the army hey. helmet. Caitlin, you can take that furry thing you love so much. Yay! And Jude, you get the tube socks, the cravat, and the poncho. You really think Laird is going to keep buying this? Heck yes! The whole mall has, haven't they? Work it, Wyatt! Work it! Work it! <sighs> Bummer. <laughs> oh man. I lost again. Why didn't they put armholes in this thing? Because it's a poncho. Whoa! <laughs> Stop looking at the camera. I'm supposed to be spying on you. Just make your coffee. Right. Sorry. Oops. More? Oh, when will it end? I want to be on Team Jonesy. I will never be on Team Mickey. <gasps> Jonesy made us Team T-shirts. Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, these are so warm. Of course you're warm. We're inside the mall. Give me my t-shirt, Kirsten. Uh, Hank says relax, Kristen. What did you just say? Just the hottest new saying in the mall. Get with it, Nikki. Ah! <laughs> did you see that last guy with the socks? Hilarious. Man, do I love my job. And I'd love to do mine. Where's all that stuff you borrowed? And where's Caitlin? I'm trying to run a charity here. I'm sorry, I'm coming. <laughs> Caitlin, that helmet was one of Jonesy's jokes. I know, but I saw them in Albatross and Finch and they were just so cute. Everybody's wearing them. You decide vintage is the next big thing, and now this is all I've got for the charity. You think you've got problems? I'm fresh out of new ideas for Laird. I can't let Nikki win. <sighs> hey, you donated that to charity. Yes, well, that was before Polly Esther made a big comeback. Don't you just love vintage? It's like so hysterical. Uh, that's historical. Where's your team t-shirt, Masterson? Go, Nikki, go! Where is Nikki anyway? Nikki, 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 yeah! Nikki, 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 Nikki. Scram! Nikki, Nikki. Aw, oh, no fair. Why don't I have a team? You do. Uh... <laughs> Are they gone? Don't worry, you're safe. 
Ugh, finally. What was that? Uh, that was me pulling my underwear from my butt, where it's been lodged for like an hour. Ugh, I hate these girly gitch. Ew! Nice. Know the feeling. I'm gonna pick up some of those boycott undies. You wanna come? Not only are those undies the best defense against Hungry Bum, they're the best kept secret in the mall. Best kept secret in the mall, huh? Hmm. Laird is going to love this. Where'd you take off to so fast? Just uh, following up on something. Hey, it's Caffeine Dream. I've been looking for it everywhere. It looks like soap. It is. <laughs> Coffee soap. What? Gross. You don't drink it. You shower with it. Gives you that Java jump start before your morning latte. Shoot, I only have enough for two bars. I'll have to come back. Later. Sweet! Laird! Do I have some hot tips for you? Underwear that battles hungry bum and coffee soap. Yeah, you shower with it. What else? Um... Ah. Oh, drinking lemon juice is also great for your uh, hair. And fortune cookies, all the rage. What? What's going on? Everyone in the mall is after Caitlin's lemon juice. <gasps> My blender only spins so fast. I don't suppose you'd know why everyone's suddenly so hot for lemon whips. It is warm in here. Or why my coffee soap is suddenly sold out. Supply and demand. Or why CC Sombreros is out of fortune cookies. Why does a Mexican place have fortune cookies? Don't know. Not my fault they have the best fortune cookies in the mall. That's probably why they're sold out. These new undies are the best. They used to be the best kept secret in the mall. It's not all my fault. Stop looking at me like that! Fine, then we'll look at your pictures. Busted. I was just doing my job. Admit it. You sold us out so you wouldn't lose the bet. That too? Ugh, Jonesy! I can fix it, okay? Good. You can start now. <laughs> uh, when life hands you a lemon hat, make lemonade, right? Dude, that was yesterday's fortune. <laughs> I can't believe how much stuff people have donated. Thanks, Jonesy. How'd you get it all back? Easy. I just told Laird that vintage stinks. What are you going to tell him next? Nothing. Got fired. Laird said my trends need longevity. And longevity is one thing the Jonesmeister never has for long. <laughs> So you won! Yay, Team Nikki! Yeah, but I donated all the t-shirts. Thanks. How about you, Jude? Any luck? Lots. CC Sombreros just got in another shipment of cookies. Lay one on me, brother. Always honor your bets. Finally, a fortune that makes sense. A bet's a bet. Remember, the cookies never lie. Aw, oh, no fair! Hey, get back here. Did the cookie really say that, Jude? It says, the words Kiku Lama Lama Woo Woo will bring bad luck to all who say them out loud. <laughs> Whoa! Ow! <gasps> Dude! The banana hammock! I don't make the fashion dudes, I just follow it. <laughs> 